Hello everyone, welcome back to Child of the Kingdom. Thank you all for coming back. I'm really excited today because we're gonna talk about purpose. We're getting into the new year and I know a lot of us are probably super stressed about what am I to do? What does this year have for me? What am I gonna do? What is my purpose? What am I to accomplish this year, especially in the kingdom? And I think we're living in a time when a lot of Christians feel like the the purposeful route of Christianity, especially as a young person, is to become a Christian influencer or to start uh, being recognized on Instagram or on YouTube or kind of to be like a household name in the faith. There's nothing wrong with that. And if that's something that you desire, shoot for the stars. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Go for it. But I think a lot of other folks are concerned about what am I to do? every day what projects am i to work on what things am i working towards am i living and walking in purpose and am i glorifying god in my day-to-day -day life and if i'm not doing that how do i get on that track how do i confirm that i'm living in purpose so think about it you were created and redeemed right god sent his son to die and jesus redeemed us he paid a price for our lives he's given us this really really awesome gift of salvation and so I don't think that you were saved to do nothing I also can't sit here and say that you were specifically saved to become a millionaire you know I can't say that I hope that you become a millionaire if that's what your heart desires but I don't know I don't know so this isn't like a magic trick video five steps blah blah because blah, I don't know what your purpose is however I do know as humanity and as a human race that was saved and that is continuously being rescued by a savior i know that we weren't saved to do nothing think about our day-to-day -day lives when we think about purpose we think about the grand scheme of things i have a hundred thousand subscribers on youtube and everybody knows me as that christian influencer or i have this really successful clothing brand and everybody knows me as that fashion designer or i have this really awesome restaurant everybody knows me as that instagram chef whatever these are projects these are good and i believe that god can bless them but i want to offer you a different perspective that your purpose isn't really in this huge achievable but rather in your day-to-day -day minute actions your day-to-day -day steps your day-to-day -day efforts and this isn't to discourage you but this is actually to encourage you that god sees your small your steps your efforts the little things you do that don't look like this huge big purposeful moment but that still really matter think about when god was choosing who was going to be the earthly parents of jesus that is a huge task okay to be the parents of the savior of the world girl girl that's a big deal okay and God was looking on the earth who is going to carry out this task and we know he chose Joseph and Mary right but think about it why did God even choose them to be the parents of Jesus because the Bible says in Matthew 1 19 that Joseph was found to be a righteous man that means that Joseph's life Joseph didn't have some big enterprise. Joseph wasn't a king. Joseph wasn't a governor. Joseph wasn't a priest. But he was found to be righteous. Why? Because God can see his day to day. God saw Joseph's thoughts. God saw Joseph's choices. God saw Joseph's righteousness, his behaviors, his obedience. God saw Joseph's day to day efforts. God saw Joseph's intentions. And God saw him to be righteous so much so that he literally became the parents of Jesus <laughs> which is again huge and so I say this to bring that perspective to you that I know right now we're literally in the midst of a, like the world is on fire we're in so much chaos and it does feel a little bit burdensome what am I supposed to be doing and how much time do I have left to actually do it but I want to offer you this mindset shift that maybe your purpose alongside working towards those goals is making an effort every day <laughs> to be a kingdom ambassador to pray to read the word to share that word to encourage others to be hospitable to sharpen a friend to pray for a person to spread the joy the love and the truth of jesus christ every day maybe small actionable items can build up to being chosen to being the father of the savior I say this to say every day we do things we take steps we make moves and we make these moves with intention I want to you know carve out an hour a day to work on my business I want to carve out an hour a day to learn French 
if we do things with the intention of getting closer to God, of seeking the kingdom, of sanctifying ourselves, of uh, renewing our minds with the uh, with the word, if we make moves every day with those intentions, how do you know that God's not going to choose you to carry out a big task like he did Joseph and Mary? How do you know that God's not going to choose you to do something really cool? How do you know that God isn't going to line you up with something that's really going to blow your mind? But I think the key here is that God sought Joseph to be righteous. Are we pursuing righteousness? Because that's of purpose. Are we sanctifying ourselves? Are we apologizing, forgiving, loving? You know, because we need to pursue righteousness. That's what qualified Joseph. Not that he was a CEO or, you know, a, a big fisherman or somebody who had enterprise or legacy. His righteousness qualified him to do something imagine I don't even think Joseph would have ever imagined you know literally fathering a, a boy who would then become the savior of the world so I thought about that and I said if the parents of Jesus can be regular folk who were found to be righteous me a very regular girl who lives in the greater Toronto area I can do and believe and worship and act and and try in hopes of pursuing righteousness in the kingdom of God and believe that God can also align me with something greater right that hope has to be there and so yeah that's what I want to say about purpose I think that a lot of people search up what's my purpose what's my purpose because I need directions and the blueprint the blueprint is to seek the kingdom that's the blueprint seek the kingdom in everything you do glorify God in everything you do glorify God in all the works you do glorify God continuously 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 and you will start to see that things line up for you and so it's not that your purpose isn't rooted in bigger. It's just the little steps towards righteousness that can take you there. So that's the video. I hope that you all are blessed. Take care, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you all again very, very soon.